What's going on, everybody? Doc here, Average Gamer Guys, back again. More free to play. Last day on Earth. Let's get into it. You can see we got the farm up. You can see we got the notification. You know what that means. We are jumping into the farm. Hey, everybody. Event. Future Doc here. <laughs> you probably already saw an intro, but I have to interrupt. So, um, I'm not sure what video this is going to go in front of. And I know, I know. The sun and moon event has just started. We just finished up recording our main account, which you have seen this video probably many, at least a little bit in advance of when this video is going to go up. Um, but we're just having an awesome time. And I had to jump in to tell you that I won a prize from Kafir, literally from <laughs> Kafir themselves. The background here, they have a new game called mini life uh, i had an opportunity the steam uh next event was going on they did a dev blog um basically um stream for that event and for that new game and i'm going to showcase a little bit of it i'm going to talk a little bit of it here uh just as a thanks to kafir uh but uh we ended up answering a kind of like quiz question correctly and we got a last day on earth uh, prize pack which was really cool so naturally where did i put it on our free to play account so free to play we didn't spend a single dime we got these things for free uh i thought it would be kind of unique kind of interesting kind of fun certainly uh a good place just to throw the things because i'm absolutely going to get some great use out of them so i'm super excited i want to talk about the new game but let me showcase really quickly what we got. And uh, I'm like super excited at a really, really nice exchange, uh, I think with one of the devs and uh, got a chance to hang out in the stream for, you know, I don't know, two hours or so, watch uh, some gameplay and then talk about the new game. So we'll be showcasing that here immediately after this, just so you can see that. But let's talk about what we got here in Last Day on Earth. Um, so we got a great package. We got 500 coins. 50 rations okay and <laughs> and five special forces packs absolutely wild interestingly enough it also gave us some vip levels um which is really cool so i didn't i did not i promise you i did not spend a dime i, I will uh um it just I, i'm i'm ecstatic i'm absolutely ecstatic it was really really cool uh, we got this uh, unique, um, just this unique thing. We got some extra buffs. We get some extra experience. Uh, we get to go to the black market. We get a little bit of cost reduction and a little bit of extra workbench speed, which is really, really cool. So uh, still a true free to play event. I promise you didn't spend a dime, uh, but we got some cool rewards and uh, I want to showcase that. So I'll be cracking these special forces packs open. If you're not familiar there's some really good stuff in these. Um, I'm hoping we can pick up some weapons. This is just a nice little boost to the account. Um, so we'll be showcasing the new event here on uh, on a future episode. So again, don't, don't get too upset. We do our advanced recording so we can have plenty of good stuff to share with you. But I just want to share that. And uh, with that, let me talk about Kafir's new game a little bit. And then we'll get you back to your regularly scheduled episode peace hey everybody doc here let's talk about kafir's newest game mini life tournament so i had an opportunity again to check this out and mini life tournament is a 5v5 moba with a fresh take you can see here that you're going to get an opportunity to use some unique and interesting characters in what you would always see from some pretty classic MOBA adventures with a unique twist. There's an opportunity throughout the course of the game to gather resources, steal resources, utilize that to upgrade your base, build different structures and catapults here, as you can see, to get your characters into the action. And as you would expect in any 5v5 MOBA, your ultimate goal is to take down the enemy base get in there get some destruction but it uh was pretty unique and pretty fun so showcasing this here trailer this is available on steam for you to go check out the download is available now and again 
I had a unique chance to check this game out on the next event, and it looks pretty cool. Forward to playing. This is actually going to be a good one for us, so we can pick up some nice, actually some really nice season progress here. We're talking 4,500 points across the board. That's pretty good. That should be a nice little bump up for us. In addition, we got Supply rocking and rolling, so we should be able to make some progress in this and get that done. In addition today, we will jump back and we will go ahead and we're going to get some settlement progress as well. So we've been grinding up some basic resources to be able to do that. I'll talk about that when we get there, but we should be able to make some continued progress and I'm looking forward to it. Now, hopefully with this 4,500 points is a full level. So we should be able to get through at least the SWAT armor. And then I'm hoping maybe we can make our way a little bit farther beyond that. Again, if we can get up to level 55 and get to the crate, the BSS, that would be absolutely huge. 59, maybe a little bit out of reach at this point, but if we could grab the C4, that would be absolutely fantastic. And uh, we'll try again here to do some more grind. And we, we were doing pretty good, but then I had to travel for work a little bit. So we got a little bit behind the power curve. As the recording of this, we got about five days left or so. And uh, unfortunately, not a ton of other good events gonna come up before uh, actually collector might come up where we might be able to get some rewards but we're not going to get any season progress for that and then uh, essentially we'll restart one thing i didn't do the last time and uh, again trying to focus on the season events was do a lot of the commune but um, before we jump into this i actually want to drive over let's go ahead and do a rest stop i've been trying to hit these with some regularity here and uh they can be just a little tough depending on which one we get um the supplies have have been worth it whenever we've been able to get there to go do that it seems like we get this one a ton all right let, let me queue up for this we brought the right stuff to be able to do this yeah they're all gonna get angry at each other and i'm gonna get shot Okay, not bad. We we're better prepared for this one than we typically are, which is good. We didn't use a ton of resources there. Our armor did take some hits, but we should find some. Look at that, right off the bat. That's actually awesome. We're gonna take all the spare armor because we'll just use it up as we go and get through the uh, the farm. I'm really excited for the farm. We need, we need some shotguns. Full M16. Let's go. Uh, that's so good. This event has been really good to us. I, that's why I want to keep hitting these just because they have been really solid. I'd like to get the one where you just get a bunch of the deer. That one's actually kind of nice. <laughs> as crazy as that sounds, as silly and weird as that might sound. There's some good stuff in here. All right, I'm trying to figure out what we want to do here. We can put a couple of things away. Put like this away. I want to grab this because I want to fill up on gas. I want to get the, all the gas from this. Nice, 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 nice. Pop this up. All right, we probably just ditch the bottles. There you go. Big deal. Bastards is good. I could do without these. We'll just eat up so that we're full. And good. Okay, that's a nice little start. We're going to burn through a lot of this stuff. Just uh, armor-wise. Let me just throw... Yeah, we'll just throw a few of these things on. We're going to get hit. We're going to take some damage as we get in here. Um... As we get back over to the farm uh, but again we've been making some nice progress here again i've been grinding just grinding basic resources we're gonna need a lot of basic resources this is an event that i need to go and do soon maybe we do this today too i don't know i got a lot to try to get done um i don't hit these oak clearings very much and i need to start doing that to get some more oak and uh we're gonna need a bit of that here in the near future not a ton right now 
Need a lot of pine, a lot of stone. But all right, let's see what this can gift us with. Got our XP boost on, so hopefully we'll grab some levels here soon. I'm gonna just drop a few of these things off. Like we can take this and this. Um, I don't want to like accidentally lose, but I will. I don't want to accidentally lose some of that stuff. All right, Mr. Yokel. All right, what do we need to do here? Search sacks, shotgun damage, and the Ravager needs to go down. All of these things we are more than capable of doing. All right, so we need shotgun damage. What better way to blow that guy into pieces? Oh my God, did you see that? That was amazing. Yes. Yes, please. I will take another of that. That is hilarious. <laughs> How about no? <laughs> I love the shotgun. It's such a good weapon. Nice. All right. Making some moves here. Oh, I could combine those. Duh. Hello. All right. Should actually just fall off that guy. And we should be able to do the same here. Try to be smart with this. Nice. Let's go. It's going to be one of the easier clearances I think we have, which will be really nice. Oh, there's the chest right off the rip. Beautiful. Uh, we'll put that away for now. The other things we may use. Nice, 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 nice. All right, let's clear out this mid part. Got to use our stop sign up here. And be able to hit and then two pump these guys with the shotgun is really good. All right, we took that guy down. Do not have the right weapon equipped for this. We're gonna go ahead and just get the heck out of here real quick. I'm just gonna reset on that real fast. That was a lot of zombies. We got the... <laughs> I think we got the zombies that spawn in from the side and we got one of the hay bales all at the same time. That was a little crazy. That was just a little crazy. Um, we're like one shot on these boots, so I'm just gonna get rid of them. Actually, let's put these on. Okay, we're okay. That was a little wild. Let's get healed up here. We'll use up some of this. Yeah, we try to save the, the good heals. For emergency situations and uh, try to use our food Been grinding that pretty good as well I'm excited to get some progression here oh that's actually perfect we're gonna need we're gonna need some extra armor here some extra body armor Not work as intended. All right. Our, our chest armor is gone. As we would come to expect, the crowbar is the best. It's the three pumps off of this thing are just too good. 
actually did really nice for us. All right, throw this back on. Need to search more sex. We need to take down the Ravager, being the next two pieces here. So this one's clear. We'll get the sacks done, which is good. Decent, not great, decent. I'm not mad about it. I'm not happy about it. I'm not mad about it. Hopefully we can get a good blueprint from this today. Actually, really like to see that. That would be nice. Okay. None of that is ideal. That's not ideal either. This is extra not ideal. Don't know. I didn't realize we triggered that. Shoot. This bull charging at us is really putting a damper on the plans here. I think I can lure him far enough away. Then we'll fight him in this area here. All right, we got that guy. Cargo value increased. Let's get out of there. That freaking bull. That was just a bad, we just got in a bad, just a tight spot there. Just not a good spot to be. We've lost much of our armor. Just not a deal. Ravager Spit will do that. It will absolutely decimate us. Um, I'm not super concerned with that because, to be honest, most of our armor kind of sucked anyways, so I'm okay with that. It's just uh, now hopefully we can clear. We got one, only one more area to clear out. This one's already cleared. Another chest over here, which means probably the last area will not have chest in it. We got some gas. That's pretty good. And we got, uh, I am in desperate need again, as always, of adhesive at this point. So looks like we got a decent little bit of that, which is nice. Shouldn't have too bad of a time. Leading the rest of this. I think if we attack this from the top side here, we'll have a better chance. Good part is we've got this all cleared out. Should be able to get some nice rewards. Let's jump in here. We'll grab this real quick. Still looking for that burglar skill. <laughs> Still have not found it. Still waiting. <laughs> Still patiently trying to wait even just the level one you know all right there's our level up which is good Doing good here. Okay. Now, what I would like to do, maybe we just use the pistol for this. Okay. That's smart. Shotgun is really good, but I do want to kind of just hold it if I can, you know? Kind of want to just hang on to it just in case we'll need it later. Let's see what our level up has. I'm going to take fishing. 
Um, fishing actually has been really good for us. It's something I, I talked about doing some regularity here um, at the beginning, and it's proven to continue to be to be good for us. So now the good part about essentially losing all of our, <laughs> our armor here is that uh, we'll uh, we'll. We'll be able to take a little bit more back on this trip, so we don't have to do as many. We'll probably still have to run back, depending on what we end up with here. But all right, so I'm gonna try to sneak that guy. Use one of these. I can bop this guy. I can draw this guy. Then we can just bop this guy, and then we should be good to go here. Waboom! Off with your head. I hit him so hard, his head went flying. All right, so we're going to swap into that. And we should be good. All right, let's see what we got here in this chest i'm hoping for either a chopper fork or a gas tank uh because we have a chopper tire already so i'd like to get the chopper leveled up so it'd be nice to get some additional parts a chopper tank would be phenomenal just uh because it's a lot more points it's an extra 500 points so chopper fork okay that's actually it's it's, it's not the tank but i will definitely take it uh because it gives us some extra it's going to give us some extra points here on this next reset. Oops. Did not want to do that. Oh, run, 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 run. All right. It's like one hit. I feel like that's appropriate. Grabbing up all the extra supplies here. And we can probably just heal down with these. That'll open up a spot for this. How do we do? Oh, we already have the old kernel. Dang it. What do we get here, though? Machete with a billhook blade and a hunter handle. That's nice. Not great on weapons. We did get a hammer, which we very, very desperately need. Uh, let me grab these. All right, let's grab the things that matter here. Uh, generally, that's fine. We're going to have to come back for this stuff anyways, so. Got that all situated. I think we've taken this top chest. That's good. We're going to grab the rest of the materials on the way out. We're going to just make sure that we get fully stocked up, and then uh, we'll head back. We'll do, we'll do the runs back and forth to this place. I didn't mean to do that, honestly. Um... We'll do the runs back and forth to this place just to make sure we can secure all the gear, not leave anything behind. But this is a pretty clean run for the most part. A couple of little, couple of little silly, silly interactions, but uh, we were able to make it through and do it pretty clean without using up a ton of weapons. And then getting that shotgun honestly was really nice uh, from the uh, the rest stop. So that was great. So we'll finish this up. We'll be uh, back at the base here in a second. Okay, we're jumping back over to the settlement here. We need to build the room. And we've already prepped this up. Uh, so the good part here is we've already built this up. So we've got this guy ready to go. We're going to go ahead. We're going to drop in the last wall, which should finish this. We've got a nice little room that we can separate into two if we need to uh, in order to kind of work the storeroom 
and get some other progression going. So that, that was kind of my thought process. The other piece is we could continue to build it this way and do another large section if we wanted to do that. So this is just how we got started because I kind of want to see where the story progression piece is going to take us. And uh, and that was my thought. So simple wall. I need you over here. That completes the room. And now we need to build the storehouse. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's just put it right here. It doesn't really matter. To build a pallet. Okay, need some nails. Probably gonna have to build the rest of these things. Let's go grab some nails. So the good part about this is this is utilizing the resources from our daily loot storage. Um, I'll be honest, I have not been grabbing that because I kind of forgot about it. Um, so we're going to try to make sure that we're grabbing that on the daily which will be really good. And uh, hopefully we can get some mercenary progress here pretty soon, stacking those up a bit. Because we are getting, I think, enough. I think we're getting five. So I think we can get one mercenary contract per day, which isn't terrible. Let's go ahead and need to build the pallet. Put it in the corner. and complete the expedition. What does this mean? Um, okay, let's, I guess, just complete an expedition. Let's do it. We should have some decent rewards sitting in our, uh, what do you call it? In our, in our track here. Let's see if we can get this done. We're looking okay. Let's get the big guy down. As long as this is it, that's going to be easy. Nice. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's nice. Good mercenary tags. We got some iron billets. Cool. I'm, uh, that's good stuff. That's good loot. I, we're going to need some of that stuff, obviously, to continue on with some progression here. I think getting the wood shop, workshop, whatever it is, up and running is going to be good as well. Looks like we have to take down some zombies. Not gonna lie, I wasn't super prepared for this, so. Okay, so we gotta head out to the farm now. Which is a little interesting because we've already been there. We were just there. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna need to get this stuff together. Um, we definitely do wanna get that leveled up. I've got four. Now nah, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. Um, building wise, what else can we do here?
So my thought process is actually... Because again, we could split this. I'm thinking about just doing another like four by four section, four by whatever five section here. Yeah, I'm thinking that's maybe what we do. But uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to head back. We'll jump back over to the farm. Um, and just see. I don't I don't know what's going to happen to our stuff, which I'm a little worried about. So let's actually take a quick look here and see what we got. We only just got a little bit of rewards there. So I'd head to the farm. We got to get some iron wire. We probably got to build up the fence, which makes sense. Which makes sense, so uh, we'll get prepped up. We'll head over there. Okay, I decided instead we're going to head to the farm, but I really do want to do this oak clearing. I figure let's get some oak. That makes sense. We need this resource. We Something that we can break down. We can also kind of work supply a little bit as well. Um, if we need to run back and forth, it just, you know, it is what it is. That's totally fine. Off with thy head. Dang it, I didn't dodge it. I did not realize the durability on our gun was going to break our gun weapon. So that's a little unfortunate. There are a ton of freaking zombies here. It is a yellow zone, so. Or I think that's where it's lined up. It might even be considered a red zone, considering that there's toxic spitters here. Or uh, toxic bloaters. It's kind of acting like a red zone. Now that I'm thinking about it. Dodge. Two other materials are here. I can honestly tell you I have not been to this location. One of these in a very, very long time. I don't, I, it's like I almost didn't bring enough weapons for this. Mushrooms. We have a few mushrooms. Not a ton, though. I don't honestly think where we've picked those up at. All right. I'm going to let the auto go to work. We're going to chop down all this oak that's here, and uh, we'll see you when we finish up. All right, we made it here to the farm. We got a ton of resources from that last location, actually. It's pretty good. Um, I'm not disappointed at all. Some of this stuff we can certainly get rid of. We can throw a few things into the chopper here. 
that makes some sense. Drop a few things off on the bodies here as well. Just to see if we can't consolidate down a little bit. And just bring everything a little closer, maybe. Let's see if there's actually going to be any iron wire here. <clears throat> I'm just kind of curious. I'm. It almost feels like it's going to be locked. Yeah, it's locked behind this, and I can't get here. It's it's actually a little crazy just a little crazy when you go to think about the fact that we haven't found haven't gotten a skill yet uh, but I'm also not super surprised either I mean we're halfway through um, we've done I feel like a pretty decent job of kind of like slimming down the skills and getting some things kind of fully maxed which is a good way to do it but it seems like that's gonna be it's going to be kind of the linchpin if it makes sense. It's going to be what holds us back, I think, is going to be that skill. Um, we probably need, I don't know, maybe two trips to the farm in order to get that done, uh, which isn't too bad. Farm location, pretty good one for us to keep hitting. Opportunity to get some, you know, some good blueprints for us uh, and stuff like that, which is nice. So this will probably halt our progress here just a little bit again until we can level up get a few things done Got a lot of materials here so we also have a supply drop that i want to hit um but i think here's what we're going to do i think we're going to wrap up this was pretty good we got some settlement progression we got some things built um i'm going to keep working towards getting the uh the settlement piece of it built up a little bit try to get some of that stuff go in um and it, that's going to take a decent amount of resources pine uh iron stone stone bricks specifically um so we're going to need to do that and uh again i'm pretty happy with it was cool to go get the farm that was really nice we should be able to make some good season progress uh we got the full swat armor which is great no don't leave i missed him too he was going to refill me i think on energy um so again, we did pretty good from that perspective. We're going to keep trying to grind out a little bit of supply as well. Um, I want to go get this last, you know, 75 points or so so that we can get up to the uh, the very rare components here, which would be great. And uh, keep trying to knock this out with some regularity. And like I said, we'll keep working towards getting some of this progress done, but we need some iron wire to be able to do that. And uh, obviously to keep to keep some things moving there, get the walls built up. Uh, which is obviously going to probably be an important next step. And like I said, we'll keep building the settlement out as well. In addition to that, we've done some additional progress. We're kind of starting to build out our main base here a little bit. We moved a whole... I don't even know if I showcased this, but we moved a whole bunch of stuff around, as you can probably tell. And uh, I'm liking our new setup much better, actually. So we're starting to prep framework for getting these all... Uh, laid down and uh, we'll get uh, kind of the outer ring walls here built up my goal is to try to get that all to be stone uh, but that's going to take quite a bit of time so uh, we'll keep working towards being able to do that and then hopefully by the time we put some progress in there we get some good settlement progress uh, you know we can get some raids we've got 45 or so levels before we can go do that uh, with any kind of success so uh, maybe a little shorter episode little bit of everything in this one you know rest stop uh the farm settlement progress that was nice we're continuing to grind on and uh it's been good it's been good we've been hitting some of the other locations as well trying to stack up some resources some guns we're actually looking nice on our gun crate here that's pretty good we got a full one with good durability weapons so actually really really excited about this and uh we'll keep grinding through trying to get some more stuff so wrap this one up here like comment subscribe thank you for again all of the support on the channel help us get to that thousand subscribers and beyond the first big milestone plus much much more 
Hope you're enjoying it. Thank you again so much for tuning in and being here with us. Links in the description, like, comment, do all that good stuff. Really does help out the algorithm. Share this series with anybody that you think would enjoy it. And then keep an eye out for more Last Stay on Earth content. We're doing stuff on our main account, having some fun, doing some unique videos, and just trying to uh, just trying to enjoy the game. So hopefully you find that helpful. Hopefully you find the series helpful uh, for tips and tricks and how you can continue to progress. So. We'll wrap it up. Doc Average Gamer, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace.